Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can personalize your boring old binder and to turn it into something very exciting and eye-catching. It's very simple and um, yeah, let's get started. So you're going to need some scissors and then you're obviously going to need a binder. Mine has paint on it, don't, don't pay attention to that. Then you're going to need a collage. I made mine using an app on my iPad and I just put like Tumblr transparents over it. Then you're going to want some tape. This is just like the scotch tape kind of like the pattern on it, it has cupcakes on it. And then the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna glue the paper down to the cover of the binder. You don't have to worry about like sticking it down like insanely well, but you wanna make sure it's like stuck down to the cover and that it won't necessarily come up very easily. Now you're gonna take your tape and you're going to put the tape along the edges of the binder and you want it to cover like if you, you I don't know if you can really see but there's like a white um I don't know like page border thing around my collage which that's just that's just what happens when you print it but you want to put the tape over that so you can't see that and then you're going to fold it over the edge of the binder and then just cut off the excess. Okay, so if you're using one of the five star binders like I am, once you get to the binding side, you're gonna need to put the tape over it like you did to all the other sides, but then instead of folding it over, you're gonna take your scissors and, well, first you have to like push it down and push it like in to the seam if that makes sense like just kind of like push it down then you're gonna take your scissors and you're just gonna slice off the excess and then peel it off it's very simple I don't know if that made sense at all and then now you're just gonna want to go inside to the slits like the holes for the binding and you're just gonna want to like cut the tape and then fold it over so it's I don't know open I guess I don't So yeah, that's all you have to do to personalize the cover of your binder. It's super simple and it's really straightforward and it's not complicated at all. I mean, it's really easy. I made one with Megan Trainer on it. I made one with Ansel on it because Ansel's bae. And as you can see, I use the star tape because the fault in our stars. Like, I'm very clever. I don't know if you picked that up. And I also made one with the vamps on it, and then I made one with Brandon and Savannah on it. And if you're using a normal binder, you basically do the same thing, except when you get to the binding side, I would just cover the whole binding side with the duct tape you're using to cover the edges, and then just put do the same thing you did to the front, but with a blank sheet of paper or like a different collage or the same collage, that's up to you. But just instead of having to like fold it over and like cut the thing and punch the holes, you just have to cover the whole side with tape. So yeah, I ended up making five binders, an R5 one, an Ansel one one with the vamps on it, one with Megan Trainer on it, 
and one with Brandon and Savannah. I mean, it was so easy and it was so fast and I just want to say thanks for watching and please be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. I love you guys so much and keep on getting louder and I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and just, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye! Thank you.